In this video, I'll be showing how to AFK auto farm the slime, buffalo core, wizard, and desert island portal crystal, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more islands guides and like the video. But let's start off with the slime portal shard. You're gonna need to have a rage blade, or actually you can use any weapon really for this as long as your light melee level is decently high. Like, I recommend using Cactus Spike if your light melee level is not that high, but Rage Blade is really good if your level is pretty high. You're gonna need an auto clicker though, and if you look up OP auto clicker on Google, that's probably like the most popular one. But quick disclaimer, a while ago one of the devs said on Discord that macros and auto clickers are allowed in islands, but to AFK auto farm them, you need to be standing around in this area, and then get the auto clicker ready, and then just use the auto clicker here. And if it's not lagging, they're gonna go over to you right when they spawn. And just watch for a few minutes and make sure that none of them actually hit you. Because if you go AFK to AFK auto farm and they hit you, then you're going to like be hit too much. And you're just gonna respawn at your island afterwards. And you don't want to do that when you're AFK auto farming. So like this is probably the best place, somewhere around right here where the leaves are. But it's best to stand in the back because there's a slime spawn right there. And if you get hit, just adjust your position of where you're standing or where you're facing. But there are some other places around here that you can stand if you want. So like you could stand right by this tree and then just try to hit them here. But you can just like walk around this area. If you go to the edge on a part where like none of them will spawn on your side or behind you, then you can just auto click there. Next is the Buffle Core Portal Shard, and you're gonna need to use the Rage Blade. Well, you could probably try using another weapon, but the Rage Blade is just the most efficient. So, right when you get here, you want to instantly fight the Buffle Core so that they respawn. Because if they're not at their spawn, then it might not like go over to you when you're standing here. But you want to go over to this leaves part and stand right on the edge of it. Make sure you position your mouse in between both of them so that it hits both of them. But if they're laggy, this isn't really going to work. So you have to be alone in your VIP server. Because VIP servers are free, so just go there and do this there. It's unknown exactly what the drop chance is for portal crystals, but most people think it's around like... 0.05% chance, which would be 1 in 2,000, and some people think it's even a 1 out of 6,000, so it's definitely very rare. I literally farmed for 16 hours and got 0. Some people are also saying that it's as rare as the Rage Blade, Vamp Bow, and Tidal Spellbook Blueprint, but it's definitely way rarer. Because I ended up getting 4 of my 6 title spellbook blueprints while I was farming during that 16 hours, and I still didn't get one of the portal shards. Also, sorry if I randomly call them crystals or whatever else I call them during this video, because I'm so used to calling them island keys, because they literally look exactly the same as the island keys. Next is the wizard island key, and this is the only one where it's actually good when it lags. Because with the other ones, if they're laggy, they're not going to go over to you, and it's just not going to work as well. But with the Wizard Island, if they're laggy, that means they're not going to try to attack you. It causes a whole bunch of lag if you literally just do stuff at your island. So like if you collect your stuff, you walk around your island, look at your farms. If you're in the server for like 10 to 20 minutes, it starts lagging a whole bunch. And also if you try to use the title spellbook, it lags a whole bunch. The islands is so laggy that with the wizard lizards, well, most of the time they don't even attack you, and if other people are in the server, it's definitely gonna lag a lot. Just go over to the wizard lizards and take out your rage blade. This can be done even if they're not really lagging that much, but if they're completely not laggy, sometimes they might be able to hit you. So just like instantly fight the spawn you're going to use for the wizard lizards so that it respawns, and then you're gonna want to auto-click like right here, so, uh, if you're standing, like, right by the wizard lizard, then you're going to be able to hit it twice with the rage blade, and just watch this for about 10 or 20 minutes, leave it open in the background while you're doing something else, and make sure that it's working, because sometimes it doesn't like to work, and I don't know why that other lizard wizard is walking over to me and then jumping away, what's even going on with that? But it seems like the best way to hit them right when they spawn is sideways like this, so you're facing the other island and the part that you just came over from. 
Because I don't know why, but the front of the wizard lizard, like, if you attack there, it always it hits twice. And I just got a blue page. But if you hit the wizard lizard with the rage blade on the other sides, sometimes it's just gonna, like, escape and hit you. And I don't know why it does that, but just make sure that you're attacking the wizard lizard from the front. You need to be at least level 48 to two-shot them, though, because I'm pretty sure they have around 125 health. But with level 48, if you're on the side, like, right where I was, then every time you hit them twice, then that's gonna work out. But again, on the other sides, it might just hit them once and they escape, so... Just be very careful and make sure you're watching to make sure that it works for at least the first, like, 10 or 20 minutes. If you're under level 48, then you're probably going to have to 3-shot them, which most of the time, it will probably work, but sometimes you might not hit the third shot. So I guess once you turn level 48, it's basically guaranteeing that you can AFK auto farm the wizard lizards. Last is the Desert Island Portal Crystal, but this one is actually the easiest out of all of them to farm. Because there's like a very specific place that you can stand, and it's actually just like, you'll see it right when I show you, but... The score sometimes are angry and like, just go around a whole bunch in the air whenever you hit them. But if there's no lag, then they're not going to do that, and it's going to be completely fine. So just fight them once you get here so that they respawn. Then you want to stand at this corner, like around the right side of this, and adjust where you're standing a lot. But they're not going to be able to get up this mountain area. Well, they can after a few seconds, but it makes them walk way slower because they're going uphill. So just stand here, wait for them to go over to you, and auto-click. Then, like the other farms, watch it for a while. This one you only need to watch for maybe, like, 3 to 5 minutes, and if you don't get hit at all, and they keep going over to you, then it's fine. Sometimes they won't go all the way over to you, like, they'll stop halfway, or stop, like, a little bit before this area where you're not able to hit them. So just move forward a little, and then you'll be completely fine. Make sure you don't go forward too much though, like you shouldn't go past this hill area thing. I just want to mention that island keys were deleted and they weren't converted into the portal shards. Portal shards are an entirely different item, but just with the island key look copied. I know this because in my shop I still have the island keys there, but it's set to zero just like it did with the flower seeds. Because you can see it says desert island key, but if I go over here and it's at zero, and then all of them are at zero, so I can't actually take them out. Well, I can, but then it's just not gonna do anything, and it's gonna delete it from appearing there. But that is how to AFK auto farm all of the island portal shards, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more islands videos, like the video, join the Discord server linked in the description, follow my Twitter at Telanthric, use star code Telanthric to support my channel, and linked in the description is a guide called Roblox Islands Guide that has all my helpful islands videos on it, so if you need help with anything, then check that out, because it's probably there. But if you need an idea for like all of the portals, I showed this last video when I showed how to get the portals, but you can put them like right by your portal, and I wasn't able to fit the fourth one there, so I just put it on the other side. But the portals actually look really nice. But that's everything, so I'll see you all in the next video.